Hey Capricorn, it's about that time for your October prediction. It's about that time. This reading is going to be for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So as always, you guys, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other placements. Um, the only other signs I have left to upload is, if I'm not mistaken, Aquarius and Pisces. All the other signs is already uploaded, so definitely make sure you check that out. Or you can book your personal reading through the link in my description box, which is my website. Um, I have a service called Monthly Reading for Finances and Love. So you can book that if you'd like. But I'm going to dive right into it, y'all. So let's see my Capricorns in general. What can they expect from their October? What can they expect? from there October you can expect to be fighting with a fire sign or an air sign I see that stressing you the hell out I see that make that that's making you feel overwhelmed that's making you feel uneasy you may be experiencing insomnia over it this could be a friend a family member or a lover this could even be workplace drama but I feel like it's it's towards someone that you have a lot of emotions for and it doesn't have to be romantic it can be a friend that you love dearly as a family member it could be a family member that you're very close to that you have a lot of love for but you guys just can't seem to get along right now you know i just see it's, it's a lot of arguing going on here and not only that all this arguing and back and forth is actually it, it seems like it's involving other people as well it's like okay you know if you ever get to arguing with your friend and then their friends start butting in or your other friends start butting in, like I just I see that happening. Or let's say it's a family member. You start arguing with your family member and now other family members is picking sides and arguing with you, arguing with this other person. I just see a lot of arguments and other people getting involved. For some of y'all, it's physical fights and you don't know what to do to make it better. For some of y'all, you physically fought a family member or you physically fought a friend. Or shit, you thought about it, you dreamt about it, you you on the verge of doing so because it's just so much animosity and so much disrespect. Clarification on the two of wands. But the two of wands, you don't really know what to do. I see you acting off impulse too. It's like you're indecisive on how you can make this situation better. And it's like, instead of coming up with actual solutions, it's like you're blowing up even more. It's like you're acting off impulse. Mm, I don't like that. You acting off impulse. It's just getting worse. It's just getting worse. Yeah, the magician in reverse. It's just getting worse. And not only that, it's making you begin to lose your focus at work. It's, it's starting to affect your money. You're starting to be irritable at work, stressed out at work, feeling overwhelmed at work, taking it out on other people at work. Mm. Well, now that it's talking about work, let's get into your finances, you guys. My Capricorn's finances, what can they expect from their finances in October? What can they expect from their finances in October, my Capricorns? Uh, it's basically the same thing, allowing this person to get under your skin. This could be somebody that you're romantically involved with, with this, with this Queen of Wands here. It could be this person that you're romantically involved with. It's just all this arguing and fighting is starting to get in the way of your work. You're starting to bring those emotions and that stress to work you moping around you sad or you irritable bad temper tell me more i actually also see somebody at work has a crush on you they have a crush on you and they may let it be known like they may they may be like hey like you know i, I noticed you haven't really been acting like yourself you know you're too beautiful to like i don't know just trying to sweet talk you low-key or not sweet talk you but you know charm you up butter you up it's like you're too beautiful to be dealing with all this stress you know if you were with me you wouldn't be dealing with all that stress or vice versa you're too handsome to be dealing with all this stress and all this unhappiness if you was with me i'll make you so happy like it's like they're subtly shooting their shot they shooting their shot low key on the low and it's sort of like they've been waiting a while you have yeah you have a crush at work somebody that's crushing on you a little secret admirer that's waiting for the right moment to speak on things and your like lack of happiness is gonna make them speak on it finally but they're not gonna blatantly directly say how they're feeling they're just gonna oh you know if you was with me or if i if i was with you i'll be taking care of you i'll make sure you're okay you're not gonna be stressing all day and blah 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 like i just see them low-key sweet talking you hmm okay Let's see with your love life then. Now let's get into love. This shit jump into love now. This reading is about to be very quick and straightforward because this really just back to back one, two, three. 
Let's see. When it comes to your love life, my Capricorns, I almost said Scorpio. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio or you will be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay. In October, what can my Capricorns expect from their love life? Ooh, we got the Ace of Swords. We got the Star card. Somebody about to spill their feelings. I'm telling you, it might be that coworker. Heavy air sign energy here, especially Aquarius and Libra. We literally have the Star card, Aquarius energy, Justice, Libra energy, and the Ace of Swords, air sign energy in general, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You had literally have someone who is going to let you know how they feel but like i said it's not going to be direct it's not going to be direct at all it's going to be little hints here and there just to see where your mind is at and also just to not make things awkward like they don't want to make things awkward and they don't want to make things you know they don't want to stress you out even more make you feel even more stressed and imbalanced or anything like that i just see this person they're gonna they're gonna say how they feel but they may make a joke about it or they may sugarcoat it they may hint at it they're not gonna blatantly say hey i like you let's go out let's go out on a date i want to take you out it may just be something like, you know, you haven't been acting like yourself lately. You, you've you been acting like you're a little more stressed than usual. If you was with me, you wouldn't be feeling like that. And I know I keep saying that one line, but honestly, that could be what they end up saying because I keep getting that one damn line. But yeah, I just see this person wanting to shoot their shot. Sorry, this um, Aries reading just fully uploaded. I did Aries reading for the ones who are separated from their love interests. It's just fully uploaded. I just want to make sure it uploaded properly but yeah basically i see you got a little secret admirer that's gonna somewhat make their self known in october so look out for that somebody new coming towards you it could be that co-worker or it could be them and someone else i feel like it's that co-worker though but this is the end of the reading you guys damn this reading was fast as fuck this reading was super fast hey don't shoot the messenger it, it came out fast. It came out straightforward. Actually, let's see what this love reading. How will my viewers know who this person is? Let's see. How will my viewers know who this person is? Let's make this reading a little longer. Sagittarius energy. Something about their car. It broke down. It got totaled. Um, maybe they sell cars uh maybe they don't even have a car you know like maybe they get to work through train or bus or ubers something about transportation here they could have a nice ass car they could sell cars they could be having car trouble or they simply don't have a car that's how you'll know something about a car here y'all would know better than me it will click for y'all when you meet this person and they bring up some shit about a car or something clicks for you about some shit about a car but something about a car is significant here but yeah, I'm going to end this reading off, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.